Hello and welcome to the weekly news show. So earlier today I was casually streaming on my Twitch channel when RobTop appeared in my chat out of nowhere. Here's everything I got for you. How will we survive without daily 2.2 news? I know right? Good stuff. Now give us daily 2.3 news. <laughs> well, if you start off hosting the first episode, maybe... <laughs> I'm just joking. Robtop said that it will be fun when he can start hinting 2.3 stuff sometime in the future. I asked about the mobile being updated and Robtop said that he will probably push mobile version of 2.205 today to Apple so then review time etc. The iOS save bug should be fixed too that lots of people had. Some mobile stuff took a bit to fix. And talking about mobile, more gauntlets will arrive after the mobile versions got updated. I then asked Robtop about him streaming the development of of Geometry Dash. He said that he will start streaming when he got more chill time. He would rate some levels and take feature requests, etc. Just been lots to handle. A few days ago, Robtop mentioned permanent checkpoints in Platformer. I then asked him if these will be activated as a standard for every level or if it's an option to check for creators. Robtop said that it seems like it could be for any level. Better to just be able to save and exit any time Platformer which I totally agree. Due to the stress and development of 2.2, Robtop still has not finished Doom Eternal. I know this is very important info you definitely need to know, but he hasn't played any games in like six months anyway. I then remembered something Robtop said back in the day. He said that if the community will like and accept the platformer mode in Geometry Dash, he will add so much more stuff to the platformer or in Geometry Dash in general. Confirming here where he said that he has enough ideas backlogged to make 20 updates. It just takes time. Yep. But we will have fun. Definitely. Asriel then asked why Robtop removed follow player and Robtop said that the whole camera code was rewritten in 2.2 and it wasn't compatible anymore. We'll try to add again later. We may actually need water on the hill sound effects. Okay, I will add a few if I remember. <laughs> and then he disappeared. Thank you so much Robtop for joining the stream. You're awesome. Oh yeah, and by the way, Robtop added these new sound effects. I am digging a hole for the fire. Someone stole the fire from the hole! Start digging the hole! The hole is burning. The hole is burning. The water is burning. There is no fire in this hole. Water on the hill. 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 Anyway, we still got some unrelated stuff to cover. On a live stream where Ludwig rated all mobile games, he put Geometry Dash on S tier. First off, I've seen a couple of YouTube shorts from, I believe, uh, Geometry Dash level editor. Maybe they're YouTube videos. But it's amazing the levels that you can make in Geometry Dash. Like... The background, the aesthetics, this is a fucking amazingly looking map. Like, it looks gorgeous. It looks so good. And then for someone to also be able to complete this, this is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Somebody made this? It's crazy somebody made this. And it's not like like just a fucking guaranteed like level in the game. It's not like a like it's a fan-made level. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's insane. Without a doubt, I think Geometry Dash belongs in S tier. Denny reached 30k subs. Congratulations to you, Denny. One Alpha Helix dropped the verification of Flamewall after a best of 62%. I asked him for a short interview or statement, if you can call it so. And here's what he had to say. Hello, everyone. I'm One Alpha Helix. Unfortunately, my time playing Flamewall has come to an end as I've decided to pass it on to a more fitting verifier. His name is Quattro Cientos, and I would highly recommend you check them out. But yeah, I just kind of want to talk about what exactly went through my mind and why I decided to come to this decision in the first place. I'd been playing the level for three months before 2.2 released, and while I was hoping that the update would help give me that extra boost towards pushing towards the goal, unfortunately, it did pretty much exactly the opposite. I made pretty good progress. I got to 62%. I ended up getting the level in two runs, and I really feel like I had a chance at it, but I 
ultimately I just ran out of gas and I think it's for the better that I just take a step back for a little bit. I'll also be taking a step back from making GD videos as well. I really just need to take some time to evaluate where I am in life and I really just want to focus on bettering myself for the future. I'm a college student, so obviously I have a couple more years until I have to go and get a job myself. I really think Flamel is in the best hands right now, and I'm happy to see an unknown player like Quattro Santos get an opportunity like this. As for what I'll do in the future, um, I'm not entirely sure. I do want to keep doing content, but I think for the sake of my mental health, I'm going to have to step back from GD for a while. I know this comes right after getting nominated for Best Streamer, so it's a little bit of an awkward timing. I just want to say... Thank you all for nominating me in the first place. I appreciate all the support that y'all have given me on the streams. You know, a hundred streams in four months. It was a very fierce grind, but unfortunately my time has come and I think it's best that I move on for my own good. Thank you, Nix, for allowing me to speak on your platform today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Goodbye, everyone. I hope everything will work out for you, man. DJ VI starts a creator contest. The winner of the contest gets 100 US dollars and the prize for the second and the third place is one month Discord Nitro. The deadline for the level submissions is February 18th. Link in the description. And Humorflex beats Bloodlust after a two month grind and 65,000 attempts. GG dude. But anyway, moving on to the quiz. The World Chase Tag is an international championship based on what sport? Is it A. Wheelchair Racing, B. Skateboarding, C. Cycling, or D. Parkour? You got 5 seconds. And the right answer is D Parkour. Congratulations. But anyway, this has been your weekly news for the 21st of January 2024.